Hello everyone, you're watching Cricket Next. I am Suramya Koshrik. Today I have with me a very special guest, someone who's behind Jake Fraser McGurk. Now I'll tell you everything in detail, but first of all, let's welcome Mr. Shannon Young. He's the coach of Jake Fraser McGurk. You must have heard about this name very recently in the match against Lucknow Super Giants, where his crucial 55 led Delhi Capitals to win that match in IPL 2024. Welcome to Cricket Next, Shannon. Great to see you here. Thank you very much for having me. Well, uh, Shannon, let's begin with your journey with Jake. When did it start? How did it start? How did you spot him? All of that. Yeah, it's a, it's kind of a, um, well, it's a well-known story in Australia because um, Jake sort of burst on the scene uh, probably uh, as a 17 year old, he's now 21. But I, f I first saw Jake as an 11 year old playing in a uh, in a game in Australia. My daughter, who's a similar age, she's 20, she was at a birthday party, and so I dropped her off. And um, as I'm prone to doing, I saw a junior cricket game down the road from where I dropped her off, and so I just went yeah. to have a look and saw this little fella. He only hit about three balls, but there was something special about him. And I asked people his name and they told me his name. And then I, I coach a premier cricket club in Melbourne, which is the uh, the level under sort of our state set up. So Victoria is the state, which is our equivalent to Ranger Trophy. Um, and I coach the Richmond Cricket Club and we, we have an academy program. And so a couple of years later, I always remembered the name and we invited him out and uh out he came as a 12-year-old and then he played senior cricket at 13. And uh ever since then we've um yeah, we've got a really unique relationship. Um um I've I've understood him on and off field probably better than anyone. And uh yeah, he's uh, not only is he a player I coach, but he, he's one of my mates and and we have a uh, a really cool relationship. So I first saw him at eleven, he first came to the club at twelve, he was the youngest ever. Um, premier cricket player for Richmond. He debuted in the first 11 at 15. Yeah. So he's always been a special talent. Yeah. He actually made the headlines in the, uh, the domestic uh, cricket, you know, in Australia. But actually the uh, real news headlines that went around him was when he was in ILT20. He played some uh, crucial match-winning knocks for Dubai Capitals where uh, uh, Warner was the captain. And there were a lot of chatter around, you know, who's Jake. And uh, I just still remember after those knocks, he was also into Australian squad. He made his debut this year only in February for the ODI squad against uh, West. West Indies and from there on he uh, made headlines here and there he was also unsold the IPL auction but he eventually got his name into the uh, one of the IPL teams that's Delhi Capitals and from the very beginning of this IPL Shannon everybody was you know thinking about whether they'll try in Jake or not because Delhi Capitals were winning matches initially. They just won one single match and uh, everybody was looking forward to whether Jake will get a chance or not because only four overseas players can get a chance in IPLs playing 11. And then in the match against Lucknow Super Giants, he came into the 11. He smashed those big sixes in the very first uh, two balls and everybody was gaga about the, who's this young kid because not many people you know, uh, saw him in the ODI series against West Indies. They didn't even see him in ILT20 that much. But IPL is a very big platform. You get to score big runs. You get to, you know, be influential as well, impactful as well. And when you come and you play such kind of a knock on your debut, I think that creates all the difference. And now when you just type his name, I think there are n number of articles on him and everybody's talking about him. But what's the X factor in him? Because uh, after the match against LSG, Praveen Amre, the uh, coach from the Delhi Capital, he said that Jake has X factor that makes him very different. What's the X factor in him? Um, yeah, there's, there's definite X factor. Um, he, he's only in, in terms of, he's very, very strong, but he's only a little fellow. He's only probably five, nine, five, ten. Um, mm -hmm. but for me, the X factor is he just picks up line and length yeah. earlier than others. Mm -hmm. Um, so in, in terms of, um, what that X factor is, um, you know, even since he was a, a young, young kid, um, Players of, um, you know, guys like David Warner, when he went into the Australian setup, he's played big bash cricket in Australia for a number yeah. of years. When he hits the ball, people watch. It's, um, 
you know, he, he can do things um, that not a lot of other people can. And the X factor, I believe, when we talk technique, is that he picks up the ball earlier. So um, he can actually hit balls where, you know, traditional technique tells you that they shouldn't be hit just because he gets into such good position because he picks up line and length so early. Um, and then he's super, super powerful. He's got a very strong base, which is a common term that we use in cricket. Um, so yeah, he he explodes through point of contact, um, and yeah, has the ability to um, to hit you know um, at high impact to high impact areas. It's drawn some criticism in Australia. Um, you know, a lot of people his his red ball stuff. He got his first shield hundred this year, but yeah, um, in terms of white ball. We've we've talked a lot about playing with freedom and and just backing himself to do what he's what he's best at and that's high impact. The big sensation coming from Australia in years to come, someone like as we call him Glenn Maxwell. Glenn Maxwell, we remember how he made those two hundred runs against Afghanistan in ODI World Cup, and it was just beyond uh, anyone's imagination. Nobody could ever think of such kind of an innings. So, do you think uh, Jake is in, is going to be the next big thing? Um, yeah, look, it's, um, it's always an interesting one, particularly in Australia, the next big thing. Um, unfortunately we as Australians, um, we have a thing called the tall poppy syndrome and what the tall poppy syndrome <laughs> is, is unfortunately we like to be more negative than supportive of, um, particularly young talent and, yeah. um, the Glenn Maxwell innings, I think we all, any, any cricket, um, lover, any anyone that knows anything about cricket, think that think believes that that um was arguably the greatest one day innings of all time when you throw in the cramps and, and all yeah. that sort of stuff. Um, as much as uh, Glenn's been in the CPL, I'm not sure how old Glenn is these days. I think he's probably about 35. Mm. Um, so Glenn at the same age at 21 was doing very similar things to Jake and um. You know, he was probably criticised in Australia as well. Um, so the the biggest the biggest challenge for Jake is consistency. Um, okay. And he's only a really young kid. He's only twenty one. He has the fastest list day hundred. So he got a hundred off yep. twenty nine balls domestically. Um, as you said, he's debuted for Australia at twenty one. When you go back through the history of um, of international cricket particularly australian there haven't been many players at 21 um yeah. ricky putting springs to mind um you know there, there haven't been many sensations dave warner obviously burst on the scene at t20 and that's sort of what what jake is is trying to do does he have the potential to be the next big thing absolutely he has the potential he has the talent um, he has the work ethic, which a lot of people don't don't really mm. see. He works very very hard, um, and, and I think you know what's what started to happen is um, the selectors and and people around Australian cricket mm. and Ricky Pont been one, particularly as as coach of Delhi that have identified that um, he he's a special talent, and if you expose special talent at the highest level and which is yeah. effectively the highest level. Um, you know, special talent will develop and they will get better. Um, so yeah, the, the next big thing. Look, I, I know, I know, Maxi doesn't like the term "big show," which uh, was given to yeah. him in in Australia. Um, but yeah, ha has he got the potential? Yes, he does. Does he have to work on consistency? Yes, like like all players. Um, the the cricket world we live in now. There's so much analysis and there's so much. Um, I guess deconstruction of technique and and understanding that that the IPL especially it's the best players in the world. Um, mm. So they will they will work out pretty quickly, mm. you know, plan plans to him and stuff. So yeah. he'll have to he'll have to work on that stuff as well. But um, yeah, look, he, he's on his way. He's been given a great opportunity. Um, you know, he's very thankful for that opportunity. Um, he's a 21-year-old kid having the time of his life. He's in the IPL yeah. with the players in the world. As you said, you know, he didn't play early, but yep. you, you've got a top order with Warner, Marsh, Shy Hope. Uh, Tristan Stubbs has been really good. So we've spoken a lot about just 
you know, being around these guys and having conversations and learning. Yeah. So at, at 21, he learns a lot and he learns very quickly. So yeah. um, look, the, the, the upside of Jake um, is, is, you know, super exciting as his cricket is. Mm, that's right. Well, a uh, few questions very quickly, uh, just quick answers yeah. to them. I just want to know from yeah. you, do you think this IPL can change uh, Jake's career ahead? Because a lot of Australians are here and they have come to the IPL scheme of things when they were pretty young and now they are, uh, you know, batting or bowling phenomenally well. So do you think IPL is a very crucial platform for all the cricketers around the globe? Absolutely. Best, best competition in the world. So yep. now all the eyeballs are on him, but he, he's managed to do that in the big bash. He had a really good big bash with eyeballs on him and um, a little bit more pressure. He doesn't really, um, he doesn't really feel pressure. He uh, he plays with a lot of freedom, and what people don't understand is it's always in the best interest of the team. It takes some courage to walk out there in your first game on on the biggest stage of the world and hit your second ball for six and take down Krunal Pandya. Yeah. You know, he's played <laughs> yeah. for India. Yeah. Um, yeah. But every, everyone sort of sees this impetuosity yeah. or, you know, but and it's freedom, but it's also that's that's in the best interest of the team. So, yep. Um, will, will he benefit from playing in the IPL? Undoubtedly. <laughs> We'll be right back.